House Democrats call for Joe Biden to end his re-election bid after the ABC interview. I do not believe the president can effectively campaign and win against Donald Trump. This is from uh, Harold Hutchison, Daily Caller News Foundation. Democratic Representative Angie Craig of Minnesota called on Saturday for President Joe Biden to end his re-election bid, even after his interview with ABC meant to reassure voters Biden has faced calls to step down from the race in CNN's debate June 27, during which he froze and made multiple verbal gaffes, and he sat down with ABC News host George Stephanopoulos in a pre-recorded interview that aired on Friday. Craig and is the fifth House Democrat to urge Biden to drop out. Given what I saw and heard from the president during last week's debate in Atlanta, coupled with the lack of a forceful response from the president himself following that debate, I do not believe that the president can effectively campaign and win against Donald Trump, Craig said in a statement which was posted on X. This is not a decision I've come to lightly, but there is too much at stake to risk a second Donald Trump presidency. That's why I respectfully call on President Biden to step aside as a Democratic nominee for the second term as president and allow for a new generation of leaders to step forward. Biden claimed during the ABC interview that he made up ground in polling following the debate, saying that New York Times had him polling behind 10 points prior to the debate. The New York Times Siena College poll had Biden down about six points among uh, registered voters and three points among likely voters before CNN debate, with both increasing by three points after. Democratic Rep Representative Lloyd Dodgett of Texas was the first congressional Democrat to issue a public statement urging Biden's withdrawal. Democratic Representatives Roel Griava of Arizona, Seth Moulton, Massachusetts, and Mike Quigley of Illinois became, uh, called on Biden to step aside, according to Axios. Biden currently trails Trump by 3.3% in a national head-to-head -head matchup, according to the Real Clear polling average of polls. Trump's lead grows to 4.9% when independent candidates Colonel West and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Green Party candidate Jill Stein are included. And this is from uh, Real Clear Politics, uh, Harold Hutchison on WND. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The Daily Posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.